All right. So I'm Harsh, founder and project lead of Push Protocol. Uh, what does Push Protocol do? That's what we are going to find out uh, in this workshop. And then we are going to dive right into coding. So let's get started. So what is Push Protocol? Uh, well, Push Protocol is your decentralized communication middleware using which any smart contract, any protocol, any dApp, any backend can send notifications gaslessly and that are directly tied to a wallet address. Why so? Because when you are interacting or when Web3 user is interacting with the protocol, they are interacting with a Web3 wallet address. And therefore, notifications or messaging directly to wallet address make so much sense than any other sort of alerts. And that's what Push did. We started notification for Web3 back in 2020 from ETH Global. So we are ETH Global alumni hackers. All right. So just to elaborate a little bit more, why? So DAOs, they are not able to talk. Whenever governance proposal happens, whenever anything happens around voting, there's no way that you can notify those voters or wallet addresses. And that's where push helps. DeFi, loan liquidates, farming epochs, all of these things can be eliminated if you're using push notification to wallet addresses. And it gets interesting, like if you're even building a L2 to L1 bridge, if you're even targeting NFTs, anything and everything that we do happens from notification and that's what we want you to use in Web3 as well. Yeah, I already spoke about the solution, but a little bit about it. The solution is blockchain agnostic, platform agnostic. It's open yet secure and it works with uh, dApps, it works with backend, it works with smart contract, whatever you're using. All right, right after that, we realize that once you do notifications, you have something that we use on daily basis, which is WhatsApp and Telegram, right? And that is messaging. So notification usually happens from a protocol to user perspective or a one-way communication. And messaging is what drives the social nature of uh, our everyday life. So think about it when we are talking on WhatsApp, we are talking via messaging and we are utilizing notification for the engagement. And that is the idea of push chat as well. You can basically use push chat to create support chats. You can even token gate and create a very unique Web3 native DAO chat, or you can use it in your Web3 social. And of course, push chat is available right now to build or chat. The SDKs are out. And as I said, the group chat enables public or private token gating, transaction gating, and so much more. So yeah, just by using these two tools, we actually are proud to say that we transformed or terraformed the Web3 communication era. We have from 2020 ETH Global to now, we have sent over 45 million notifications. We have over 95,000 subscribers and over 650 plus integration. Some of which are on your screen. Uh, we power notifications and messaging for a lot of partners. Uh, Uniswap, or socially, uh, Gitcoin, Polygon are some of our favorites. All right, so what's next? Before we dive into the workshop, what we have made a culture is to announce products around ETH Global because we started from ETH Global, right? So we launched push notifications at ETH Global 2020. We launched push notifications or push chat at ETH Bogota 2022. Next game, push video, which is like a face same level video that we launched uh, at Tokyo 2023. And we have a very special video which we are sharing with all of you guys about what's coming next. Awesome. So yeah, we are launching Push Pieces right from ETH Global Paris 2023. Uh, what is Push Pieces? Well, it's just like Twitter Spaces, but for Web3, peer-to-peer -peer supports any identity, including wallets, including .polygon, .crypto profile, 
any NFT profile even, and it can be access controlled, which means that these spaces can be token gated, NFT gated, even when someone is listening or someone is talking. So very, very cool things that you can do with this. And yeah, just to announce our messaging and uh, Twitter space launch partners, they are Revise, Socially, Xenon, Lens, Lens Play. Uh, these are playing around Web3 socials and we would love you guys to uh, check them out. All right, time for the demo. Uh, the demo video is not accessible, but that's cool. Thankfully, I basically did a rework on my technical talk. So we can get started directly from the workshop. So, all right, how to do notifications, right? And before that, I'll just uh, uh, put this slide out. So there's a live workshop and live Discord link in case you guys want to join that. Uh, I will show it out to you guys again so you don't have to really scan it right now. But yeah, to get started, let's talk about notification first. So notification, sending notifications is extremely easy. All you have to do first is you have to activate your protocol on our protocol. And you can, the best way to do it is from the DAP. When you do that, we call you as a channel. And I'll come to why channels are important. But as you see, when I go to staging.push.org and I'm signed in with a wallet address, I see all these channels. And channels are important because we don't want user to be spammed, right? The, we want users to be opted in to notifications, just like how Web2 does it. So over here, when I go to channels, I can see all the channels. Let's say I want to opt in to Ryan's channel. It's looking interesting. So I just click on opt in. This is again a protocol level event. I'm just gaslessly signing everything. You don't even have to come to the tab to do it. You can do it from your front end as well. But yeah, once I'm opted in, I'm all ready to receive notification from Ryan's channel. When you want to, uh, uh, when you have to send notification, you have to create a channel. I've already created one, but you can, if you go over here, you'll see create a channel instead of the channel name. And you can just walk down the steps to create the channel. It's very easy, just five steps, making sure that you own the proto protocol wallet address. That's all uh, what Push wants to know. Okay, once you have the channel, you can send notification from anywhere. Over here, we are going to send it out from the DAP itself first, and then we are going to go deeper and deeper. So let's do a hackers. And notification doesn't have to be just text. You can do so much more with it. Uh, you can basically also attach a YouTube link or a Mets link or the encrypted transaction, whatever you want to do. So over here, I want to attach a cat meme because cats. <laughs> so perfect. So I'm just going to paste this as a media URL. It will show me the preview. I'm selecting broadcast. Broadcast means that I'm send, going to send this notification to all the users who opted into my channel, but there's targeted, which is directly uh, to a single wallet address. And this subset as well, which is I'm going to send a notification to a part of the uh, wallet addresses that have subscribed. But yeah, let's do broadcast. Hit send notification. Just sign it. Gaslessly. And you have the notification delivered as well. Because I have opted into my own channel. So you can see it over here. But not only that, you can see notifications everywhere um, where they are uh, integrated. So you can see notifications on the extension and very excited to announce that you will be seeing these notifications and chat on unstoppable domain website and uh, mobile app as well we recently announced enabling messaging and notification for four million of the wallet addresses so it's totally inter interoperable it's totally web3 so yeah just try it out uh so yeah coming back this is one way to send notification, but this is basically a manual way how to do it uh, uh, via programmatically. So the first thing you need to do or your best bet is going to docs.push.org. And once you're there, you can go to developer docs. 
and you have everything over here on how to get started with the channel, push notification, web3. And you can even see how to send notification from so many other things. Like from a smart contract, uh, from push SDK, from push DAP, even using showrunners, which is basically a scaffold framework that we have to get you going uh, like in an instant. And using subgraph as well, because subgraph and, pu graph and push, they we work together. So let's see how to send notification from push SDK. So I've prepared some of the things, but one thing, like only a couple of things you have to keep in mind. First, you need to make sure that you're going to our GitHub and you're cloning push SDK. Push SDK has all the examples about everything. So it really, really helps to clone it out. That's what I've done. And the other thing I've done is I've just created a, a boilerplate uh, NPM repo just in advance to show you how we can do cool things with the uh, uh, notifications and with chat. All right, so over here, I've just opened the push SDK. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to packages. I'm going to go to examples, backend node, uh, but there are examples of front end as well. And I am going to try uh, getting notifications and over here I have the example of all the things that the notification can enable and how to use them this scroll is not working hold on let me just restart VS Code all right Okay, as I said, notification index and yeah, cool. So we can see all the ways by which we can send notifications, uh, get channel, get subscription, opt in, opt out. All of these things are here. But for this example, let's let's try to first get the. Uh, my notifications. So this is, I mean, internally the function has been named as get feeds, but all I have to do is I'll just copy this function out. And this is a boilerplate I have created. So I've just imported the APIs of push protocol, imported ethers, have a channel private key, which I've already doxed and, uh, using which I'm creating a sign up. So over here, what I want to do is I want to retrieve all the notifications that have been sent uh, to the channel address. We use something called a keep then format because push is web three agnostic, which means that it can deliver notification not only to Ethereum, but to Binance, to Solana, whatever. And that's why I'm Keep 10 because Keep 10 defines exact blockchain address, not exact Ethereum address. So EIP 155 is EVM, 5 is Gurali, and then you have the address. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, this is just one line of code. And once I do a yarn start, oh, over here. I can see all the notifications that have been sent. So that's retrieving notifications. Let's look at one more example from notification side, which is sending notifications out. So yeah, I think my VS code is a little buggy, but yeah, uh, what we, what do we want to do? We want to send a direct payload to a single recipient. So let's see that. So yeah, again, extremely easy to do. There's one line of code, or a couple of lines of code. This is because we want to do console log as well. Cool. So I am using the push API to send notifications. Who's the signer? My channel is the signer. 
if we want, we can also have delegate signers, which basically means if we go back to our channel, not only we can send notification from our channel wallet, we can add delegates as well. And that delegates can be different wallet and can that can send notification on behalf of our channel. Just in case you are using backend and you don't want the private key to be in the backend as well, you can use this to add an additional form of security layer. But for now, we have already doxed my private key. So signer will be the signer channel. Type 3 is targeted notification. Again, if you go to documentation, you will see all the notification standards and how to use them. So over here, you can see notification standards, advanced and basic. They will tell you like what are the types and how to use it. Uh, you can even actually go ahead and define your content to have bold italics or whatever. But yeah, check that out. Coming back, type 3 is targeted. We want to send a direct payload uh, to uh, the notification uh, wallet. Uh, push basically supports any storage protocol. And that basically means that you can send notification from smart contract, from uh, IPFS, from a direct payload or anything else. That basically is what identity type is because we are sending it from, not from a smart contract, but directly as a JSON. We basically say that. Then we have notification title and body. We will say eat global cats and uh, hackers. Notification title and body and payload title and body, they can be different, but in most of the time, people usually choose to have the same thing. So notification is something that you see on screen and the payload is something that you see when you go inside any app that is supporting push. Uh, sometimes it's different because it can be a video call, right? So notification will be someone is calling you. But when you go inside, that might be the face of the person or the real life feed. So that's why. Uh, recipient, I want to send this to the recipient, which is my channel address only. So I'll just do... Oh, you know what? Let me have the recipient. Yeah. So recipient in this case, because I'm just sending notification to me, that's why it's the signer channel dot address, but it can be any address. And environment should be staging. So I'll just do this. And that is it. If I run and give it a few seconds. Oh. Yeah, silent is something that I haven't defined. So I'll just take this out, run it again. And yeah, if I go to the DAP, yeah, it's already here. So that's how easy it is to send any sort of notification from any platform, any protocol, any smart contract. Now let's talk about chat, which is also very interesting because you can do support chats. You can even do AI chat something that we have done uh, and you can do so so much more so for charts i mean i'm just going to chat over here and i'm going to chat with another person over here charts are again user and spam uh, controlled or has anti uh, spam mechanism which means that when you send a chat to someone the first time they have to accept the chat request only then the notification are enabled and only them they can see it in the charts. But yeah, you have the request app that uh, basically acts like an anti-spam mechanism. Same for notifications. Like if I send a notification to a, a wallet address that has not opted in, it lands on the inbox. But yeah, over here, let me find this guy. I mean, I can find this guy, which is 792. So yeah, uh, take my click. Yeah, cool. So sending chat again, very, very easy to do. I am going to go back to VS Code example. I'm going to go to chat. 
and we have chat which is wallet to wallet chat we also have nft chat which means that you can have your nfts defined as a chat so your board ape can also talk to uh, one another if you want to uh, the only exception is that the nft chat has a different standard so instead of using eip 155 you basically have the nft address standard again it's mentioned in the docs so no worries around it over here we are just going to go with a normal wallet to wallet chat so i want to do a send chat example so i'm just going to copy this example out and i'm going to explain it to you guys while we work this out together so yeah thanks piece it out and yeah so first thing charts are very encrypted yeah charts are extremely encrypted so the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we are first getting the encrypted chat address then we are doing a staging env file then uh, once we have that encrypted chat uh, pgp key which is what whatsapp also uses that encrypted chat PGP key, we put together a decrypted helper function and we pass that encrypted private key along with the address of the signer to decrypt it out. Once we have decrypted the PGP key, we can send chats uh, as, uh, as a normal user. That's how we achieve end-to-end -end encryption. So that's why you have double-way uh, encryption and decryption. So yeah, once you have that, all you have to do is, again, send your signer signer is the signer channel in this uh example we also basically did a signer second account which is a random account that we have but uh what we can do is instead of random account let me just uh, do a copy on this account so receiver address is going to be EIP 155 and the receiver wallet address. Notifications has like the chain ID, but chat doesn't have the chain ID, just the blockchain, uh, which can be like chat because it's like EVM compatible, right? So it's EIP 155, which means all EM, EVM, and then the chat address. And over here, we are just going to do staging and hopefully. Yeah, console.log response. If everything looks good, this should work. Good. So this is done. And if I go to chats, yeah, I can see a chat delivered right now. So yeah, it's that easy to do. Just go to the backend node and you can figure everything out. We also have something called NX Control, which is a UI plugin, which if you install and then um, uh, you generate a front-end uh, interface or you serve a front-end interface, it works pretty well. Uh, I think we are running out of time, so I will not be able to uh, explain that to you right now, but happy to do it on our uh, uh, booth. Again, the best way is go to docs.push.org. And lastly, if you go to NPM, uh, you have all the examples of everything that you need to do and how to do it, right? Uh, along with the patterns and the expected response. We also have cheat sheets, which the girl in pink is basically having. So yeah, just have that. And... Uh, our Discord and uh, our Discord is 24 by 7. So is our booth. So yeah, just scan the link and ask your technical question either on Discord or come to us and talk to us directly. The live workshop link basically takes you to all the examples that we have in the SDK. Uh, thank you so much. If you have any questions, Got it. So, of course, like those notifications are visible. It can be visible on your DAP as well. So there's a front-end SDK functionality in which you can have those notification integrated on your DAP front-end. And because of that, you can show it over there.
or you can have your app also have a pop-up notification which you can achieve by delivery nodes. But yeah, because it's interoperable, all the dApps that support push as well as, like as he said, unstoppable uh, dApp and unstoppable wallet also supports push, right? So as long as the user is there, your notification will be there. And that's why we recommend that you add it to your dApp as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I want to ask you something about this push notification for broadcast. So as I see in the demo, everyone can send a notification. So is there any whiteness option because it can be used as a malicious notification? So. Got it. So not everybody can send a notification. Like that's why you have your channel and only your channel can send a notification to all the users uh, or a channel or a delegated uh, person that you have delegated can send a notification on your behalf. So we are working like we are publishing notification for Uniswap and Safe and so many more companies using this logic. And because of that, it's only Uniswap wallet that can send notification to you. No one can spoof it. We also have like a blue verified tick mark which basically allows user to know that this is coming from a ledger channel and not a uh, spoof channel. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Thanks for coming and happy hacking. <laughs>